Greetings, HCA. Hey, can you even believe it? It's May 1st. I cannot believe we turned the calendar. So here we are cooking right to the end. It's going to be busy, but it's a lot of fun. Hey, we've had a lot of stuff going on. Our eighth grade trip uh, to Washington, D.C. was great last week. We had a lot of kids who had just an awesome time. Our Mary Poppins was phenomenal, off the chain, unbelievable. Uh, remarkable to see just the talent of those students, just to see how they performed. It was very exciting to, to uh, I was only there for the practices because I was at a graduation this weekend, uh, but it was great to be able to see that. Our soccer, uh, they went to the final four. Uh, last Friday, they got bumped out in the final four, but going to the final four, remarkable. Remarkable. Lacrosse in their inaugural season go into the Sweet 16. Remarkable. Both of our tennis teams are involved in the Elite Eight down in Savannah today, so be praying for them. Our golf team competes in Athens tomorrow in the area tournament uh, at UGA, and so we're excited about that as well. Uh, we have high school awards tonight over at uh, Hebron Church. Our lower school has field day. We got a lot of stuff taking place, only three weeks until graduation. I can't believe it. Only one month until the end of school. So we know we've got a lot uh, taking place and we're excited about it. Uh, always encouraging you to be there for our men's Bible study on Friday mornings. And we wrapped up season two of The Joy of Leadership. It'd be a great chance for you to catch up on some of those, those past episodes, for us to meet some of the folks around here who are telling just a great story for the Lord as well. Hey, our pastor scripture today, coming from Luke chapter 10. Uh, in this section, it's the, the section that is the, the section on the Good Samaritan. I'm going to read just the first portion of it and then the very end of it. It says this, a lawyer stood up to put Jesus to the test and he said, teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, what is written in the law? How do you read it? And the lawyer answered, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. And Jesus said to him, you have answered correctly. Do this and you will live. Here the lawyer asked him this question. He's and it says here that it, he was desiring to justify himself. And he asked Jesus, but who is my neighbor? And then Jesus tells the story of the Good Samaritan, that he, there's a priest that walks by and ignores a man who is injured. And a Levite walks by and ignores a man who's injured. But the Samaritan walks by, who's frankly coming from a hated class, coming from a second class group. The Samaritan walks by and just overwhelms this wounded man with kindness and care uh, at entirely his own expense. Jesus asks the lawyer uh, this question at the end of, uh, of telling him this story. He says, which, which of these three do you think proved to be a neighbor to the man who fell among the robbers? And, and the lawyer said to him, the one who showed mercy. Jesus said to him, you go and do likewise. So here in two different sections, he says, hey, here's what it is to love the Lord. But he says, hey, go and do this. Go out and apply this. In this, the last portion, he says, who's your neighbor? And he says, great. So you know who this is, the one who applied mercy. Now go and be merciful. So it's not enough to know it. You also have to apply it, right? It has to come from the heart. So I want to give you two examples. Uh, I, I received uh, through through our coaching staff this uh, this last week. I received two different emails. Uh, one was from uh, our soccer team, uh, who was they were playing at, a, at one particular venue. The second was from our soccer team as well when they were playing in Savannah. And uh, in both situations, it was our parent group that made the determination to live differently. So in Savannah, there were a couple of kids who got concussions and several people from our from our parent group made the determination they went down they spoke to the parents they got the names of the kids who had received concussions and they took it upon themselves to be in the stands they were praying in the stands uh, out loud for these kids it made such an impact on those parents they both wrote emails to the school about the fact that they had never seen that from a school before. So here we are, we're involved in combat, you know, we're involved in athletics, and this is such a big deal. But here, our parents, uh, our, our Hebrew parents, our HCA group made the determination that they were going to live out what it means to be a Christian, what it means to be a believer. So here, who is our neighbor? Hey, it's our opponent when we're playing sports. And because those parents made that decision and that, and because that was being fostered by a great coach, a great coaching staff, 
hey, you know what? That made a huge impact on those parents. We should not just be merciful or understand mercy, but we need to practice that in our lives as well. And so I love this section of scripture really defining the idea of what it is to truly love. Uh, all right, let me start our week out and close our time out with a word of prayer. Father God, I thank you, Lord, so much as we come up on the flurry of the end of year activities. Uh, God, we thank you, Lord, so much for our seniors, for our senior families. God, thank you, Father, for all of the sporting competitions, for how well our students have done this year, still pushing out there. We pray, Father, for our sports that are still uh, working through it, tennis and golf and a few others. God, we thank you, Lord, so much for your hand, which is so evident upon Kebron. May we continue to be faithful to you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for guiding us and showing us each and every day uh, where we can change, where we can grow, where we can become better. Thank you, Father, for all that you do in our midst. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, everybody. Have a great week.